Hi friends and welcome to another fun video. Today I will use Dynamo to place out a Revit family and rotate it so it is oriented perpendicular to the curve. The family I will use is this large steel plate which I will call a steel section. It will be placed at equal distances and rotated individually along a curved line. Let's get started. Open up Dynamo and start developing. In our case, we do have the curved line and would like to select it with the Select Edge node. Just press Select and then go back to Revit and select the desired edge. I have now imported the curved line into Dynamo where I can start editing it, manipulate it or do whatever I want with it. What I do want is to add points along the curve. Curve point at parameter will do the job. The parameter input for this node isn't very intuitive. It can be a bit tricky to grasp at first. That's why I'm using a code block for better control. I've entered 0.1, which tells Dynamo to evaluate the entire curve from start to end. In this range, 0 represents the start point of the curve, 1 represents the end point, or 100% along the curve's length. If I changed the starting value, to 0.4, for example, the first point would be placed 40% along the curve from the start. At the end of the expression, I've added hashtag A, where A is a number input that determines how many points will be distributed evenly along the curve between the start, 0, and the end, 1. When you set the number slider to 39, Dynamo will place 39 evenly spaced points along the selected curve each at an equal distance from the next. Next is the actual placement in Revit search for the node family instance by point. This node is used to place a Revit family instance like a component at a specific point in the Revit model. We have the points, but not the type of family. Add the node family types and find the family I showed at the start of the video, steel section in the drop-down list. It is important to know that all the families in the drop-down menu are inside the Revit file that is open. Connect the nodes and hit run. In Revit, we can see that 39 steel section families have been placed evenly along the curve, each spaced equally. However, they currently lack the correct orientation. If you zoom in, it becomes clear that each steel section is aligned to the global Revit coordinate system rather than following the direction of the curve. What I want to achieve is to rotate each steel section so that it is perpendicular to the curve at its placement point. To do this, I will use Dynamo to calculate the required rotation angle for each family instance, ensuring they are oriented correctly along the curve. So I will be using Dynamo to find the angle to rotate the family to the desired placement. Go back to Dynamo and search for the node family instances set rotation. This node will rotate the family that is placed out in Revit. All that is missing now is to find the rotation for each point along the curve. Start with the node line by tangency. This node will create a line or use a vector that is tangent to a curve at a specific point. I already have the curve and the parameter input, which is the same input as the curve point at parameter. The line direction node will turn the line into a vector. The next node, vector angle about axis, which I will use to calculate the angle about a specific axis, in our case, the Z axis. This node is useful when aligning or rotating elements relative to curves or geometry. Add the set axis vector which will serve as the rotation axis and the y axis vector which will be used to calculate the angle between the tangent vector and this y axis reference. Now connect all the nodes, hit run and see the result. Everything looks great. The steel section families have rotated and they all appear to be perpendicular to the curve, just as intended. That wraps up this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Dynamo tips and fun workflows.